I think given, given that we have been discussing and researching in resiliency for almost a decade now, the whole topic of being able to measure and quantify resiliency, I think is still a key challenge. Uh, we, have, we have made some ways forward in individual sectors. There have been some, some metrics and indicators been identified that are acknowledged now and that some, in some of cases the private sector is picking up in acknowledging these and actually regulators and international norms also picking up the concept and moving towards making resiliency an asset and something as a company or as a private sector entity you can turn into a benefit for your operations uh, and your business strategies. I think yet that is still a field where a lot more work is necessary. Um, so the whole field of measuring and quantifying resiliency. Educating decision makers across again sectors, silos and disciplines is key. If we take a city government as a, as a, as a best example, um, those leading a city government in their different sectors still think in silos. In many cases, uh, we still have no real good picture or let's say stratospheric picture of impacts of disturbances, of stresses and shocks across the critical sectors within a city. And so new methods, tools, applications on how to better um, depict and demonstrate those interdependencies between the different sectors, between the different, um, let's say, policy areas also within a city, but not only a city, it could be a region, it could be an one corporate organization that is spread across the globe. I think there's still a lot of work to do there.